guess what? I'm starting the t-shirt business. It's going to be really, really different from other t-shirt businesses because of some information that I learned from launching an online course. So if you want to learn how to set up a different t-shirt business, check this video out because I'm going to go way left and it's going to be some stuff in here that you've not seen before. So with that, brace yourself. When I launched the first version of HustlersKungFu.com, I put a t-shirt in the mix because I wanted some swag, right? And it really, really turned out good and bad at the same time. The t-shirt concept was solid. The execution, because I used the wrong t-shirt supplier, was a nightmare. And that's one of the reasons I'm doing my own t-shirt company to have more control over that process. Now, this is how I'm gonna do it. To get your best deals on t-shirts, typically you have huge runs. And the run is a large order of t-shirts. I'm not gonna run it like that. I'm gonna have small runs. I'm not gonna order five, six, seven, eight hundred t-shirts and then like that, I'm not gonna do it. Because also, that goes back to the logistics, that goes back to the inventory, that goes back, there, there's a lot of things that happen that are very expensive for you to get that cheap print price up front, which is where you're gonna put it, how you gonna keep track of it. Well, by having shorter, smaller runs, I don't have to worry about that. Plus, I'm going to operate on a very heavy reoccurring business model and a very heavy pre-sale model. Give you an example. Let's go back to what I learned from the storage auction about how to run a business. When you bought a unit, the unit puts you in a very reactionary mode. And what I mean by that is, you didn't know what was in the unit, so once it came out, and you unloaded the unit and you sorted the stuff, you had to figure out how to sell it. So you were in a very reactionary mode from that position. It's just like, okay, how the fuck do I sell this stuff? And that happened every month, sometimes several times a week. But I was having so much fun that I didn't really understand it was not the best way to run the business. It was a good business, we made money, but it wasn't the best way to run the business. Because you're in that reactionary mode and you can't put in systems, automations, and really, really scale your business. And that's one of the reasons that when I got sick and my partner was diagnosed with cancer, we had to shut it down because we could. it was hard to scale. We could have if we had hired managers maybe two or three years before, but we didn't. So once we were out of the business, the business was over. That's gonna happen anytime that you are the business. Now, from the reactionary mode, what I'm gonna do, and you'll see it, I got the first design done. Uh, we're working on the second design and I've got the concepts for designs three through 12 done, plus I'm creating more. I'm not gonna just do quote, buy my t-shirt. Now this is going back to what I learned from a storage auction business. I didn't understand the value of a reputation and I didn't understand how a reputation could make you money give you an example and this is way off to the left but i remember going to an auction and i was broke i had overspent the day before i didn't calculate correctly there was no money to get in the bank i was broke compared to you know rolling out with anywhere from five to ten grand i only had 1200 bucks on me and that was broke if you're going to a big auction you're trying to buy some big rooms yeah you know, that, that's just not you you really really are limited so I get to the auction, there's a bunch of uh, new people, there's a bunch of old heads, and there's like 30 rooms. So I felt comfortable I was gonna get some good stuff, but I really felt some kind of way, I was feeling a little inadequate because I didn't have the money that you know where I could buy a room, possibly make a mistake, and still have money to get a good room. So I just go out and I was like, fuck it. So I start bidding everybody up, new people 
you know, learn from the old folks, it's like, yeah, he's gonna do that. He does that. He'll buy them all. He'll buy them all, or he'll cost you a lot of money, right? And I heard that, and I said, yeah, act like you got the 10 G's. So I'm buying and I'm buying, you know, well, I'm bidding, right? Because I ain't buying shit. And I'm bidding, then we get to the rooms that I want, and there's four of them, and I get them for my 1200. Now, if I didn't have a reputation, there would have been no way in hell that I would have got those rooms. So the whole point of that is hustlers kung fu, the hustler's mindset is going to be predicated on the philosophy and the reputation that I have been putting out for the last eight years, seven, eight years. See, I'm that guy, and this, this is going to sound really bad because I was talking to a friend about it, but if it came out like there was, you know, what would be a scandal for another guy, let's just say we got this YouTuber, he's really popular, and he's a good guy, he doesn't cuss, right? Then the scandal comes out that he had like fucked 20 women in the month, he was cheating on his wife, and all this other stuff, right? That would kill his brand. It would kill it, because that's how his brand is built. Now, if it came out like, damn, Glendon was fucking a bunch of young chicks, most of y'all be like, shit, that was Glendon. It would just, it would do nothing. <laughs> it would be like, okay. So, what I'm saying is, philosophy and, and the brand is got to be synonymous because one of the reasons that people have problems selling stuff is, all right, you come up with a nice design. And one of the things they teach in some of these uh, t-shirt courses is you find an affinity group which already has a philosophy and you sell to them. So it's even with those courses, it's the same thing. So instead of you know, me trying to create like this t-shirt business of some brand I don't know or make some up, it's just stupid. When I already have somewhat of a hard ass brand, uh, edgy, which is like, uh, if you're on the email list, you saw this, like the uh, Black Ops stuff is coming back because I didn't, years ago I had this book, uh, the Black, you know, getting in the black on eBay, the Black Ops edition, and I pulled it back because eBay had made all these changes where the information in that book would have got people kicked off. And I had people begging me for that book because it was full of a lot of, you know, stuff you just can't do. You know, stuff like having your URL in every picture. You can't do that anymore. Did that shit for years. Nobody was doing that shit. You know, just put it in there. It, it was kind of crazy, like a watermark. But I'm going to start doing a lot of that type of stuff. Um, you know, I probably will do a living off the grid course, uh, which for some people may be necessity now. That's something that I did for 10 years, but I didn't live off the grid as some nomad in the desert. I lived off the grid and built a million dollar business. And to do that, you have to understand how the system works. Because if you understand how the system works and you understand where all the lines and rules and regulations are, it's very easy to circumvent them or step across the line, step back, and not be injured. And you know, that's what this t-shirt brand is gonna be about. Cause it's, you know, uh, there's some of you who are looking for hustlerskungfu.com, right? And you couldn't find it and it was going because I want that to be the t-shirt store URL. And I had to wait because you know, and, and when I build this t-shirt company, I'm gonna let you in on all of the uh, stuff that I went through from the domains, transferring domains, uh, dealing with designers, where to get blanks. Blanks are the t-shirts that you put your stuff on. This is something else. I'm not going to just get like a regular shirt. I'm gonna get something nice. Uh, a shirt that will wear well. That's the reason I'm taking my time to do this. <clears throat> It'll be something that you would want to wear five, six, seven, ten years from now. Because we're building a brand. Now, the t-shirt business even though it'll be separate, you know, people could buy t-shirts, it's going to be more so for people who are already ingratiated in the brand. That's who's going to be really the primary recipient of these t-shirts. Uh, folks who've gone through Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills, Hustlers people in Hustlers Kung Fu Dojo, because I'm going to set out a course <clears throat> And the only way that you can get the shirt is to get the course. 
so if you see that shirt you know the people had to get that course and then there will be shirts for the public and there'll be shirts that'll be for the tribe now going back to the behind the scenes stuff I will do videos like this where I'll, you know, I'll say, hey, how to start it, and I'll give you topical information. But for the nuts and bolts, the phone calls, you know, how to get designers, all this other stuff, that's gonna, you know, that's literally, if I'm sitting there talking with a designer, going back through some stuff with fiber, may take me 30, 40 minutes to do a screen share. That's gonna be in hustlerskungfudojo.com. That's gonna be paid, and let's just be clear, Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills .com is free. Always be free. If you like it and you want to pay something, there's a pay what you want link. And I ask that you refer two or three people to the channel and the courses, but you don't have to pay. Now, Hustlers Kung Fu Dojo, where it'll be the active stuff, that's going to be a paid membership site. A lot of stuff. There's going to be a course that's going to drop every month. Uh, when I was building out hustlerskungfu.com before I switched stuff around, I had on a template 35 courses I was going to do. And then I stopped because I saw that, you know, people were getting like really crazy. I have enough stuff already developed where I can create a course probably for the next 18 months. Of course, every month, I'm probably going to take Christmas off. That's kind of the thought, right? You know, the thought process right now but maybe not but there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to be going down and i'll show you the failures because this, this is something else there are many people who seem to hop out of their mother's wombs and it's all shiny they, they're just making money this pow touch is money i think that is just bullshit i think those people are extremely rare and i think a lot of folks online are bullshit artists because once again as I go through the building of this brand and see, this is why you have to pick something and stick with it you keep jumping around getting on this tactic which works uh, let's talk about Kindle the Kindle thing worked very well a lot of people made a lot of money now Amazon changed up the game on them and then they couldn't make any money and if you notice a lot of these guys who were doing these Kindle courses have shut them down I honestly think that they got some uh, letters from Amazon like we're gonna sue you if you keep doing this I could be wrong don't know don't have any proof just an assumption but if you go ahead and you put your sword in the ground and say this is the shit that I'm gonna do and start building your brand and I'm gonna be real with you it's gonna be two three four five six years it's gonna take some time but if you do oh man I mean the things that will just come your way because you're building something that is durable you're building something that you could potentially leave to your kids because you're building a brand and that's going to be the important thing with selling apparel and t-shirts and stuff long term versus just for a few, few short weeks or months or something like that because you're doing tactic driven uh, business which makes money but it doesn't continue to make money because it has a uh, window where it's just not going to work and that's the danger of becoming addicted to tactic driven businesses which a lot of people are and then they struggle when they have to sit down and build a business that is not predicated on tactics and they have to do something different to make money and then that's when you know that saying the struggle is real the struggle is real i mean it, it's it's just it, it just becomes very very demoralizing for some people because they now realize that they invested in all these tactics and they haven't taken the time to build stuff that creates a legacy or a brand that they can sell year after year and enhance that brand. Because if you notice, Apple doesn't advertise. You know, they'll do a show or something, but for the most part, they really don't advertise because they're a brand and everyone knows who Apple is. And I, let me step back. Apple doesn't advertise the way that I advertise because I'm not nowhere near their level 
but every time you see someone with an iPhone, every time you see someone with a MacBook Pro, they're marketing to you, whether you like it or not. But that's going to be how I set this up. You know, you'll get to see a lot of the behind the scenes stuff if you're a member of Hustlers Kung Fu Dojo.com. And you'll get some swag. You know, the, the goal is to make some stuff that's super, super tight, super comfortable, but sticking with that rough, rugged edge of Hustlers Kung Fu.com. Now, I will also tell you why I changed the name because the channel was Glendon Cameron. Okay that is real limiting when you brand your company with your name it becomes <clears throat> super super limiting if you will look at what warren buffett did his company isn't called warren buffett it's called berkshire hathaway and if you look at the top you know 500 companies in the world none of them are named you know someone's name not a one because when you're building a business you have to get outside of yourself and that's something i realized last year and that's the reason for us you know the channel is hustlers kung fu that's why there's hustlers kung fu.com that's going to be where you get your gear that's why hustlers kung fu life skills.com hustlers kung fu dojo so all of it starts to make sense you know because at one point i was doing this and this and this and then i've learned from some of the courses that i take and some of the uh, consulting that I pay for that I needed to tighten this stuff up, put it together. And it is just really interesting how it's starting to work out because I'm gonna, like I said, there's gonna be a lot of content that's coming your way. And also I've kind of put my sword in the sand and I'm gonna be like YouTube. And I will mess with Facebook to a degree, but I'm not gonna wholeheartedly invest in Facebook because I believe in sticky IP. Instagram is sticky IP. YouTube is sticky IP. Pinterest is sticky IP. Anything that someone can come across five years from now and still get it and access it, access it easily is sticky. Your Facebook page isn't like that. Uh, Facebook is doing this stuff where you're getting like notifications about stuff you did four or five or six years ago. Most of the stuff on Facebook is tertiary, trite, it's bullshit, it's entertainment. Why would you want to be reminded of some snarky comment you made five years ago? Maybe I'm wrong in thinking like that, but I just thought it was a nuisance. And that's why I think Facebook's going to run into some problems in a few years because they're trying to be everything to everybody. And I know from experience what happens with that and many other people know from experience. Now, if they just stick to being a social network and really, really own that, I think they'll make even billions more because they had such a head start and they've built such critical scale bigger than anyone else has ever done before. Facebook has a billion users. They have 20% or 20% plus of the world's population in their ecosystem. There's so many things that they can do. And I'm quite sure at Facebook headquarters, they're talking about this stuff because when you have a billion people on your platform, that's really, really powerful. And now that's it, that's it. So if you wanna get the topical stuff of you know how to build a online t-shirt company, you know, watch the YouTube videos. If, if you want the down and dirty, the nuts and bolts, go below this video and sign up for Hustlers Kung Fu Dojo membership. It's 150 bucks a month. You know, it's for business owners. It's for serious people. And you'll see all of this stuff that no one else is going to show you. No one else is going to tell you. Like, I mean, the dirty, the nitty gritty, you know, the, where the real money is made. You'll get to see that. So with that, hopefully, uh, be sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.